I remain with my bullish bias on Bitcoin, expecting higher price targets to be hit. I am remaining in my long trades from lower and I am not shorting Bitcoin here. I have no shorts open here locally on Bitcoin and I do have longs. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy the video. I'll be explaining that bias, the reasons why. Okay, and I know I'll also refer to the Elliott Wave count. I think some people really took that out of context. You know, even though I do have a bearish Elliott Wave count, I still believe we're going higher on Bitcoin right now. I still think higher price targets are going to be hit. I am not shorting Bitcoin here. And, you know, I just need everyone to fully understand that because I think a lot of people might have thought, oh, Daniel's bearish when I'm absolutely not right now. Uh, everything in terms of the chart looks good. The market structure, when I come over to the order flow too, the order flow remains very bullish. There are no bearish signs. So, you know, what I do as a trader that makes money in this game is I trade the charts, okay? And the charts for me are undoubtedly bullish, okay? So when that's the case, you know, I'm not going to be looking to short, 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 short. I'm actually looking to long the dip, okay, and bring price higher. So my higher price targets right now are sitting between 39 to 40,000, which is a psychological level. 40,000 is that big psychological level. And we got a weekly naked point of control at $39,000. Uh, of course, when we pulled the higher term time frame FIB, which I will do again for you right now, so we're all on the same page. Okay, this is a log scale Fibonacci pool. So you actually put the, the chart into log logarithmic scale and you've pulled that Fibonacci from all-time high down to the low there at around $15,000 and this gives us our log scale Fib pull and the log scale is very useful when you're looking at a lot of history on the chart on a very volatile asset which Bitcoin fits those <laughs> fits that criterion right so um yeah, that gives us the CC in a very similar place when we looked at that weekly naked point of control right on the bottom of the CC there. And, you know, the 41,500 and, um, you know, let's just say 70 right here on the top of the CC, you know, coming in at around that psychological level. OK, just above, of course. So that's um, some other confluence that we have above us in terms of Fibonacci pulls. Uh, but yeah, right now I... You know, the way that I am trading this, okay, is simply having a bias, which of course is bullish right now. And how am I forming that bias? I'm forming it by looking at the evidence and data on the chart. So the evidence and data that I have on the chart is, is bullish market structure. But we take it a step further and I look at the order flow. For me, order flow is the biggest way of building a bias locally. And so I'll just explain a few posts that I day gave to my champion members yesterday. Okay, so we started to rise in price yesterday, right? And, um, you know, the, the first level that we had was an NPOC around 37,900. As we hit that 37,900 level, I tell my team, you know, not taking a short here. Um, nothing bearish on the order flow, looking for new highs. Okay, so... I, we also had a daily prior to that. And in the morning update that I gave, I said, you know, this this daily is a weak level. There's no interest in a short really at all for myself. The NPOC, there was the potential. Uh, but then as soon as we hit that level, you know, I'm reviewing the order flow and I'm making the informed decision of not to short there. Uh, what actually went happened, uh, you know, about you know an hour later is we got through that NPOC and we back tested it perfectly for another new higher high locally. So, you know, what I'm doing is I'm just building a bias from Bitcoin on the market structure, uh, using the targets that I have above us, using the order flow, using our correlated markets. One really good heads up has been Coinbase stock. So the stock coin for the past few weeks now, I've been telling my team 130 to $133 is the target on Coinbase stock. Since that post, we're up 25%. And so recognizing Coinbase is likely to pump, you know, that's really just another sign that Bitcoin is also going to be brought up in price. So, you know, I'm not making, I'm not just getting my bias because, you know, that's what I want or that's what I think. I'm using this bias because that's what the charts tell me. I'm being told, I'm being told, I'm being told to be bullish because the charts are bullish, period. They are bullish. So I'm not going to be looking to short, 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 short every single rise. 
if I do take a short, I'm looking to take profit one quickly, move the stop loss down and, you know, really looked along the dip until we hit my next higher target. So my next higher target is coming in at around $39,000 on that weekly naked point of control. If we get through that, yes, I'm looking for that next level of the psychological to the top of the CC. Okay. Of course, I will make this very clear to you all. If we reclaim the top of the CC, I'm expecting forty-eight to fifty-two thousand dollars, which is my next major, major price target. Okay, up here around the weekly to the naked point of control on the monthly. This for me is a massive level because we do have big liquidity there as well. And so for a <laughs> for a trader that loves to search for liquidity, that's where the next big levels, if we reclaim the top of the CC at around $41,000, I'm expecting a very strong big move up to, uh, you know, 47 starting to the, you know, to that monthly. So, um, you know, that's the way that I'm trading. I just wanted to be very transparent with you all, very clear to you all here in this YouTube video. Um, you know, I am telling my group the same information, right? I'm, I'm long, I'm expecting higher price targets, no shorts, you know, remaining our long and chill. I'm, I'm bullish on Coinbase as well. You know, I'm, I'm bullish on crypto assets right now. Um, so that's just, I just wanted to be very transparent, very clear with you all. Uh, yes, I have a bearish count, but right now I'm, I'm trading here off of my more local bias. And again, that bearish count could play in um, after we've come up and hit higher price targets for a rejection. But if there is no rejection here, then yeah, I'll simply look higher level to level to level. Uh, making my informed decisions, reviewing the charts, looking at the order flow. OK, if you want assistance with this, if you want to learn how to read the order flow, you know, if you want daily live stream updates, then that's what you get inside of the champions level. Right now, as we're speaking, Igor is about to go live for a daily morning trading update. So he's going to be covering Bitcoin. He's going to be covering the stock market. OK, and he's going to be covering maybe a little bit of FX. So we got all of that covered in the daily morning update in a minute, covered by Igor. Then later today, we have uh, also a roundtable. And then tomorrow, we got another daily update from myself on Bitcoin. You got a stock market update. You got a dedicated altcoin analysis. And then guess what? On Friday, you got another daily update and live trading with rivalry. So yeah, we've got the altcoins coming up. We've got the live trading coming up. We've got the contenders coming up tonight and another live stream from me tomorrow. So yeah, if you want all that, you know where you can get it over at chartchampions.com. That also includes, of course, the course where you can learn all about order flow, footprint charts, uh, you know, to get you up to speed and, you know, using the strategies that we use to profit and, you know, get these biases from. So yeah, if you want to see all of that, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. It's going to be me signing out here. Final reminder in summary, remain bullish, charts look bullish, order flow looks bullish, expecting new highs to come on the Bitcoin chart. And yeah, let's take it level to level. Don't be perma bull, don't be perma bear, trade the charts, make profits. And if you want assistance along the way, you know where to get it first. All updates will always be given first to the champions via chartchampions.com. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.